Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin'. It's D-Boss to react to this Truth or Drink video by Cut. This is Africans and African Americans. In the title, it says, do you use the N-word? I'm not putting that in my title. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to label this like Africans versus African Americans. And this is not versus like, oh, they're against each other, because I know that's a whole thing. Versus like the two perspectives, you know, like, oh, their perspective versus, you know, their perspective so just throwing that out there but anyway let's see uh what they have to say let's watch what does the n-word mean to you i hate that word but have i used it with the a sound before yeah with my close friends i don't know. i i don't like <laughs> i don't like what half friends say i'm sorry what <laughs> what <laughs> nigga we both black <laughs> See, that's what I said at the beginning of the video. It's a whole thing with no Africans versus... It's a whole fucking thing. I don't feel like getting into it. It's fucking dumb. It's so dumb and divisive and stupid because we're all black. But, <laughs> um, yeah, he's already on some wild shit. Y'all shouldn't say the N-word. What? I'm Taxi Dad. I'm Dope. I'm Khalif. I'm Jordan. Uh, we're doing uh, Africans versus African-Americans. Oh, they're saying versus, too. It's not really versus, but... Oh, it's just and... It is versus. You use versus to like compare like opposites. It's not, ah, oh, we against each other, let's fight. It, it can be used in, in different ways. Chill out. I grew up African German. I'm hella African. <laughs> I'm black. Hey. First generation. Both my parents were born and raised in Nigeria. Period. Um, my tribe is Igbo. I stand on that. Period. Yeah. Well, my tribe is Compton. <laughs> my tribe is what? I stand on that. Want to start with a shot? Yeah, sure. I know you can't How you going to take my shot glass? I'm pouring you a shot. You know I'm a gentleman. <laughs> to being black. To being black, for you. I do that all the time now. I'm trying to take a shot. Right? <laughs> okay. I got my friends doing it. So <laughs> Everybody do uh, it. Who do you think it's laid more? Uh, Africans or African Americans? What? Africans, to be honest. Because yeah, no money is from there. So, <laughs> therefore, they want a taste of everything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, culture sampling, yeah. What is a snow bunny? <laughs> yeah, you got to clarify that one. Uh, you know what the fuck snow bunny is. A white girl that likes African Americans or Africans or. Just black people in general. I mean, honestly, I feel as though Africans have the gift of gab. I feel like they really want it, they're gonna get it. So I would say Africans get laid more. Okay. Yeah. Do you agree? Yes, I actually would agree. Now, I, I live in an it. apartment that is predominantly Africans mm -hmm. um, and African Americans. And most of the African people I see walking around has a lot of kids. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we got here somehow. So yes. there might be a lot of different types of American women who might judge African men mm -hmm. and might would, would not want to sit with them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say probably black men. Black men? Did she say she could be Yeah. <laughs> so pretty. I feel like African men be presenting as more got it together too. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nigeria, like Nigeria? Yeah, shoulders up. You feel me? Yeah. Chin up. Yeah. Like they walk around with confidence. <laughs> exactly. How do you feel about the term African American? It just feels a little confusing um, simply because, yeah, to me, the African-American culture and the African culture does not have camaraderie like I feel like we should. And I always mm -hmm. feel like I don't really identify with African-American because that part of the African inside don't really embrace me. So I'll be like, I'm black. Okay. I mean, I would embrace you. You're cool people. Thank you. I don't feel like that because I don't feel embraced. I just feel like, yeah, I don't come... I mean, my people come from Africa, sure, down the line, which we can say for technically everybody, we can get deep on that. Even white people, they their lineage goes back to Africa. So if you want to get technical in that sense, sure. But I'm not as closely linked to Africa, so it doesn't make sense. Like, my, my parents are from here. My, gr my great-grandparents are from here. My great-great-grandparents are from here. Like, you know? So... It, it just makes more sense for me to consider myself a black American versus an African American. But if someone calls me that, I'm not about to fucking flip no table over. <laughs> it ain't that serious. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not going to hold you. I don't like when some people say it. When, like, the, the super allies like, say it? Yeah. African Americans? <laughs> it's like, yeah, if you say it aggressive for, like that. Like, black people in America. Like, we are as American as it gets because... We've been here for better or for worse yeah. since the creation Thanks. of the country. Versus Thanks. like when you say like African Americans, it kind of denotes like a generation ago, this generation, two generations ago, they're from 
a different country. Ex- exactly my fucking point. Because I can trace back up to my great great grandparents, and they are they are American. <laughs> They're not African, so it doesn't make sense for me to be an African American. It's like no, we've been here longer than like half the white people. Been here. Exactly. Take a shot if you have ever used the term African booty scratcher. Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> Why? I would call that. that. Me I too. Definitely like like African beauty, African booty scratcher. People used to call me Midnight. I got called Midnight too. Oh, Dark Vader. Yeah, me too. And I love Star Wars. Me, I, yeah, no. Dark Vader. You like Star Wars? I would never watch it because of that. Dark Vader, Dark Vader, Dark Vader. Okay, so wait, what's Dark his name? Vader, his name is Darth D A R T H, but people would call I'm me Dark sh- I'm Vader. I'm sure oh. black people did, does not know his name is D A R T H. They knew enough to call me that. Yeah, I they called Dark Vader. R K. Dark Vader. Oh, oh maybe it was a combination of both. I know they called me that. Though. I, I knew they were saying it was a play on words. Yeah, yeah but also black people. I I thought it was Dark Vader because <laughs> I don't watch it, so I would hear people say it. I thought they were saying Dark Vader. I think black people didn't know. To be honest. No, the people, I mean, I don't know. My elementary school, they knew. I think they knew. They knew. I don't think they knew. <laughs> the people who don't watch what it, What does don't the N-word mean to you? Do you think you take offense to it as much as African Americans do? Depending on the context. I've seen people consciously not say it around people that they view threatening or, oh, that's a real black person versus like, oh, Abdul, he's a fucking... The they engineer, think you're like unharming, they yeah. Think you're cool I'll or... sing along with this song, and I'm like, "Oh, Abdul said it was cool with me. That shit pisses me off." <sighs> yeah. I hate that word, but have I used it with the A sound before? Yeah, with my close friends. Can so I... you don't hate it? I don't... You use it with your friends? I I don't like <laughs> I don't like what Africans say. I'm sorry. What? I don't like what Africans say the N word. With the just any any type of way. We're different. I do hear you and understand you, right? Every African, I promise you, every African that says the N-word, I tell them, do your parents say it? And they all be like, hell no. And I'm like, so why do you? Never. My parents say it, my Same. grandparents say it, their grandparents say it. Same. None of, no African parents, grandparents say it. Yeah, I would say mine will never. Yeah. So we got to work hard to get rid of it. It's like... Y'all picking it up because it sounds fun. I'm actually, I'm, I'm glad that you shared that with me because I never heard someone have an issue with African people saying that word. Ooh, Please, but, that's, right. that's, that's a good point. Shit, but, uh, name 10 African countries in 30 seconds or take a shot. Ooh, 30 seconds? You're rude. Ghana, Ethiopia, Nigeria, um, Kenya, um, Egypt, <laughs> Morocco, <laughs> Somalia, um, 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 South Africa, um, um, Uganda, um, how much time has it been? I'm getting nervous. Um, um, fuck. Fuck. Where else am I going? <laughs> That's 30 seconds try. That's not a lot of time, actually, for someone who's had tequila. But I don't, know the, difference of, I don't know the difference of... Countries Eritrea. and cities. Eritrea. We'll find out. Morocco, Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, is Zimbabwe one? Yes. Ethiopia, Ghana, Nigeria. Niger, Chad. Somalia, uh, Nigeria. Kenya, Gambia, uh, Somalia. Yeah. Half right there, half right there, half right there. No, it was 10 or 5. It's 10. 10. Damn, you're what crazy. That, what about that guy? Uh, Did I do it in 30 seconds? Nigeria. Uh, West Africa. No. <laughs> That's a region. It's okay. Go ahead and take a shot. It's fine. Zimbabwe. Um, why, why am I blanking? Singalese. I feel like you start to blank when you're put on the spot. So I understand when people are put on the spot and they like freeze up, their mind goes blank because you feel like, oh, I only got a certain amount of time. Oh my God. Like I ran out of time. Uh, is that a country? Because I'm sure I can think more. We're close. I'll accept. I know what you meant. Madagascar. South Africa. Equatorial Guinea. And... Egypt, it's Egypt. Top cards of the Oh, damn. Mm, 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 mm. See, um, yeah. see, see? Senegal. Senegal. Not Senegal. Not Senegal. 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 Really know yeah, they don't know or care. the difference. If you raise it, you like fuck and y'all. Professional fuck saying, y'all. I hear a lot about uh, white folks really 
preferring to work with Africans mm -hmm. because we really are a lot more submissive in a way. I think they hate black people more than African people. They hate the descendants of slaves. Mm -hmm. The model minority myth exist heavily in the African community to where like, they've been brainwashed to think that black is bad, everything else is good. They're the good ones. They're, this is what you should be as a minority. Go to school, be polite, all the respectability politics. Everybody black, it doesn't matter. Anybody who's perceived as black, they just see us as black people in threat. And the more chocolates you are, the more issues you're going to have, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They don't, don't agree. I don't think they can. Really? Mm -hmm. OK, do, do tell. I feel like if me and another dude is standing side by side, mm -hmm and we get approached by the police. I think that if he has an accent, it's gonna make him less dangerous. The police? Yes. Maybe I missed the question, I just thought you... Oh, you're right, well, white people, I think I mean, of, that's a part of it. Okay, <laughs> I think of all white people as police. <laughs> Period. <I mean. laughs> They all, oh, okay. They, he just I gave mean, an example, but it's still relevant. Why should I like he said something super love food? Take a shot if you've ever said Wakanda forever. Have I? I probably, like, I definitely have at some point. I'm sure. But, like, not, like, at some, at some yeah, point, right, yes. Yeah. I'm gonna take a shot with you. To Chadwick Boseman. <laughs> when the first movie came out, I took a girl to go see it. Yeah. She's African-American. Yeah. She legit asked me after the movie. Oh, no. She said, are you from Wakanda? Yeah, I know <laughs> she was about to say. Yeah, I've, never, I've never asked that. I gotta say Like, it. are you serious right now? Like... Um, in what ways are Africans misunderstood? I think we're misunderstood maybe kind of on the topic of like my home country, right? Mm -hmm. um, in Ethiopia. Oh, and that's right. Mm -hmm. when I told and I don't know if she said it when she introduced herself because I was definitely talking. So I just looked at her and, and saw she got an Ethiopian look. Ethiopians are fine. Worker, there's she war fine. that just started. He was like, oh, but doesn't that happen all the time? That was his response. Someone I respected Wait, and sorry, I enjoyed. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking to okay. mm -hmm. The topic of like my home country, right? Mm -hmm. um, in Ethiopia and having war in Tukai. Mm -hmm. When I told my coworker there's war that just started, he was like, oh, but doesn't that happen all the time? That was his response. Mm -hmm. Someone I respected and I enjoyed working with him. Brushed it He's up. Constantly I'm, I'm fully convinced that like some white people I've met still think like most of Africa is just like dirt huts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like living like, in I huts, talked about that in the video. Not having recently. water. Yeah. Not really having food. There's 54 different countries in it, Africa. It's called You've Been Lied To About Africa. Check it out if you haven't already. It's a good video. It is unfair to just lump all of Africa into one. To like, oh, you it's said a whole ass continent. I have a friend from Nigeria. Like, like people aren't interested in the difference. Yeah. Yeah. How was that? Good. good. Emotional good. I know, I'm like that. I feel warm and fuzzy. Uh, there are some things we agree to disagree on, you know, but we, I mean, finding that common ground that we both were called African booty scratchers, that was deep, you know? <laughs> yeah, that was Yeah. What about chocolate? Boots. The darker the berry, the, the sweeter the juice. juice. The darker the flesh in, the deeper the root. I love him. Yes. <laughs> They need to always have him on the show because I love him. He is hilarious. But, yeah, I, I thought this was a good conversation. You know, it, they were very respectful and they, you know, actually listened to each other's viewpoints. So I think it was a good combo on, you know, all sides. But I love Africa. I always have a great time when I go. I've met so many amazing people from different countries in Africa. So, yeah, I think it definitely pays to just go out and travel you know, and meet different people, your perspective on things start to change because I do know that a lot of uh, Americans, black Americans, are ignorant when it comes to Africa um, just because they're not exposed to many Africans like that typically. So, you know, they only go based on what they see on like social media and the propaganda that we're force fed by our government. So, you know, it, it just does you well to travel get out there get answers for yourself you know uh but yeah interesting vid y'all let me know what y'all think let me know what other videos you want to watch and i'll see y'all next one bye